So actually in this proactive world I'm talking about where we're actively trying to help the person never get the behaviour started by listening to the communicative function of the behaviour, um, helping people understand the triggers, getting those kind of sorted, understanding the behavioural whispers so that we can help people manage anxiety early. There's still a question of what we do when the person is engaging in the behaviour. Now that can be seen a bit like um, sometimes when you're working proactively like this the behaviours will go away quite a lot. And so you're only seeing them every now and again. And when that happens, as long as you're working in that proactive mode with people, when the person does engage in the behaviour, you can see this in some ways a bit like, you know when you have a person who's uh, bitten your nails, and then you stop biting your nails over years, and then one day you look down after a stressful moment and all your nails are bitten. Well, sometimes in this world, when people have learned a different way of managing, sometimes they'll just go back to that old behaviour. And that's called, the re you know, then you need a reactive strategy. So in this suite, in this way of working, when the person engages in that behaviour, if you know what they need, you can give in and give it to them. Because they can, there won't be a problem with that, because the big message has been over here, working in the proactive mode.